another dimension time portal another planet what's at the bottom of Mel's hole it's on both screens without further ado let's get straight into the video Bellwater's property in the Manastash Ridge west of Ellensburg, Washington, there's a hole in the ground that looks like a well, but it's not a well. Like the owners of the property before him, Mel used the hole as a trash dump. His neighbors used it too. Garbage, broken appliances, old tires, everything went into the hole. After a while, Mel started to wonder, why doesn't it fill up? And then he started to notice other strange things about the hole. His dogs wouldn't go near it. It caused his radio to pick up strange signals, and it didn't seem to have a bottom. Mel's curiosity became an obsession. Well, let's see if we can get to the bottom of Mel's hole. See what you did there. Mel's hole is a round pit, nine feet, nine inches in diameter. There's a stone retaining wall built around it that goes down about 15 feet. After that, the hole extends down into darkness. Well, not only did Mel Waters and his wife dump everything in the hole, but so did his neighbors. And this has been going on for a long time, for years before Mel even moved in. Mel's neighbors said they couldn't remember a time when the hole wasn't there. So why can't you hear objects hitting the bottom? Why can't you hear your own echo? Mel set out to determine exactly how far down this hole goes. An avid fisherman, Mel had spools of fishing line on hand. So he attached a one pound weight to the line and sent it down the hole. It went 4,500 feet, the full length of the reel, and didn't hit bottom. He reeled the line up, attached a roll of lifesavers, and sent it all the way down again. Mel wanted to see if there was water at the bottom, and if there was, the lifesavers would come up dissolved, but they came up dry. And Mel had more spools of fishing line, each one 5,000 feet. He attached another spool, now down almost 10,000 feet, and still no bottom. Spool after spool of fishing line went down the hole. He could not reach the bottom. By the time Mel ran out of line, he was 80,000 feet down, over 15 miles, and still no bottom. While experimenting, Mel noticed that his dogs wouldn't come anywhere near the hole. Even when forced, the dogs would dig their feet in. There were no animals of any kind near the hole. No wildlife, no insects. Birds even flew around it. And since the hole was known to his neighbors, Mel asked around if anyone noticed their dogs feeling uneasy by the hole, and they all said yes. Then one of his neighbors said, Speaking of dogs, not too long ago his dog died, so he threw its body into the hole. A few days later, that dog came back. After Mel's neighbor threw his dead dog into the hole... Why? Huh? Just why? I don't know. Is that a respawning chamber? Just throw somebody down there and they're gonna respawn? That's crazy. Can't bury it. I really, I, I really don't know. Sometimes humans are very disappointing. They certainly can be. Anyway, a couple of days after disposing of his dog's body down the hole, he saw it running through a wooded area near the property. Now, he knew it was his dog because it was wearing the same collar. But for some reason, the dog didn't come when he called. And the dog acted like he didn't know his owner at all. Ooh, maybe it's a version of his dog from another dimension. Well, that's definitely a theory. And as the weird stories piled up and the fishing line kept going down, Mel was at a loss. He was out of his depth. <laughs> right. Mel needed help figuring out exactly what this hole was. And in 1997, there's only one place to discuss the strange and mysterious and be taken seriously. Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell. From the high desert and the great American Southwest, I bid you all good evening and or good morning wherever you may be across this great land of ours. Coast to Coast was on hundreds of stations around the world and had 10 million listeners. If anyone could help Mel, it was Art Bell and his audience. Mel sent Art a message on February 21st, 1997. Art called him and Mel's hole became known to the world. Over the course of several shows, Mel Waters would reveal more and more details about the mysterious hole. The good news is Mel was getting really good advice from people all around the world, like use a laser to measure or use radar to check the distance. The bad news is now millions of people knew about this hole. And from clues given by Mel on the radio, you can get a pretty good idea of where it was. The day after the first broadcast, Mel was returning to his property, but the entrance was blocked. The government. Yep. The US military was now aware of the hole and they wanted it all to themselves. This game, you're not ready for it. 
anybody else got a problem with that with the government sticking a nose into anything they act like they're your parent government to govern your govern your mental to control your mental i don't need nothing to control my mental all i need is the laws of the universe that will govern me whether i like it or not we don't need neanderthal man-made laws and y'all coming out the woodworks to cover thing up to hide things to just like with your treaty and antarctica you all agree that so-called normal civilians can't go there what if i don't want to be a part of your normal civilians I ain't agree to that. You're not my government. I don't need nothing to govern to control my mental. I control my mental. This shit is crazy. They come out the woodworks for everything. This. You can't even catch rainwater without a permit from them. You, you never really truly own your land. Yeah, they don't have a biological identification to the planet. You can't go to Antarctica. Oh, get away from Bermuda Triangle. Uh, they, they, I'm tired of them. Just know when I unlock the rest of my doormat DNA by 2025, if I get my powers, you better hope it ain't real. I do that. I'm getting rid of all government. Damn tyrannical government. Every government is tyrannical and need to be overthrown off of their throne. I'm sick of you. Everybody that work for CIA, FDA, that approved that poison called food, they the reason why your grandma died and had a leg amputated or open heart surgery. All of them in cahoots and guilty. Just know every single solitary one of you will perish. And low bearing fruit doesn't fall too far from the same tree. By default, the kids will perish as well. They enjoy the luxuries and voluntarily or not, whether they know or not, of all the genocidal things you did to the indigenous aboriginal people. So by default, they will suffer the consequences of their forefathers. That don't, the same. It will happen. Just know that. I'm sick of the government sticking their nose in everything. And they can just come and take the land, rather do wanted to sell it to them or not. I don't fuck with that. They just come out of nowhere and just blocking things. Man, I'm sick of them. I don't like my parents. I'm going to kill all y'all. Just hope you know that. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm talking about Warzone. Uh, after, after the show, on Friday night, I went out there and... Uh, and... Uh, noticed uh, there were some some helicopter activity around the property there was further helicopter activity the next day uh, and so I figured that uh, clearly uh, somebody out there listens to your program oh, yes. Mill said that the hole could affect things in the environment around it animals avoided it but plants seemed to grow extremely well radios acted weird if Mel brought a radio near the hole, the signal would get very staticky and then start picking up broadcasts from somewhere else. One day his radio started picking up what he describes as old time music. So he goes to change the channel and tunes into a baseball game. Point behind the St. Louis first baseman. Went on second, two outs. This is fine until he learns the game was played in 1967, 30 years ago. Art's first call with Mel goes on for about an hour and then they wrap up. Mel was staying in Ellensburg for a couple of days and had made the call from there. When Mel Waters returned from town, the access road to his property was blocked by armed military personnel. And there was evidence that heavy machinery had been brought in. Mel was told there was a plane crash on the property, but there was no report of a crash, no fire, no smoke. Still, Mel was told he couldn't access the property until the crash was completely investigated. When Mel asked to speak to the person in charge, a man in civilian clothes told him that the land was not necessarily his anymore, and it would be very easy to find a drug lab on the property if he didn't leave. Mel threatened to go to the press. The man in charge, man in black, the man in black told him, go ahead and talk. Nobody would believe it, but Art Bell and his audience would believe it. And a few days later, Art called Mel for an update. Mel said that a neighbor saw a dark beam coming out of the hole and up through the clouds, darker than anything he'd ever seen. Now, Mel admitted he didn't see this himself, but Art Bell and several callers said that this part of Washington has a lot of UFO sightings, disappearances, and other paranormal activity. Callers have- So what that's like a, a gateway, a portal to some, but if the dog that ain't tossed the dog in there, It's a tricky thing with going back in time. We all know 
the past, present, and future is all happen simultaneously. Um, that's been proven. You know, white people, they got to do logistics and prove it. You're not wrong for that. But it's Lenate. It goes without saying. I already knew this shit growing up. I knew a bunch of shit growing up, and I don't know how I knew it, but come to find out how they say Earth is 15.5 billion years old. And my neural melanin as well. Your body is composed of over, what, 150 trillion seals? And all the seals are seals, your previous ancestors that experienced everything. So all the Akashic record data and storage is in my vessel. That's why I know things and I don't know how I know them, but I know. If I say that to say, okay, if you go back in time, you can only go forward or backwards, right? It's all happened simultaneously. But if you go back in time, you could disrupt the flow of things. Let's say you go back in time and you bomb a place and your grandparents happen to be at that place. If you do that, you would never be here. You would never exist if you try to go back to your normal timeline. They put that something to the nature of disrupting the doing, going back and it's forbidden to go back and change things in time because you can change that timeline you come from. I think they specified a little bit this on this in that the latest Mortal Kombat storyline. They put a lot of truth in via entertainment games, etc. Because, again, if I was one of them creators that's making a Facebook, a Mortal Kombat, a Call of Duty, a Call or whatever, I will be putting the truth in there as well. Because it's interesting and it's the truth and it's thought provoking. It's, instead of just making meaningless and senseless material. So they put a lot of the plus. It's laws of the universe. They got to put the truth in the infinite domain. It's up to you to decipher or to discern whether it's truth or not. Plus, you can't think of nothing that already doesn't exist, but if you throw the dog into this hole, and let's say it's a warm hole, okay, and it come back to life, it's wearing the same collar, but it running away from you as if it don't have, like, the memory wiped with it as well. Like, that's interesting. You was to write the shit down, like the report on what they say happened or whatever. You really just, you can put the puzzle pieces together and make it make sense. It's very possible. But that's interesting, none the least. It's crazy. You got these kind of things going on here on life. I mean, on life. <laughs> on Earth. Isn't it crazy? You got all these phenomena. You got Covenant of the Ark. You got Solomon's Ring. You got Portals. You got Bermuda Triangle. You got Narwhal. You got what's in Antarctica and they treaty. How they don't want regular civilians to go there. You got Poltergeist, Aleister Crowley, Narcomancy -like type, type activity. You got Ouija boards. You got interdimensional beings. You got all different kind of extraterrestrials. Meanwhile, you stuck at a job, which is defining this public business for private dishonest gain. Just know some sniggling, giggling, gay, fat, fake Jew, little hat wearing motherfucker that's privately eating private parts, gaining dishonestly off your hard work and labor. That's crazy. You could be doing so much in life. You can be unfurling the cylinder scrolls. You can be learning different languages. You can learn your life skills. You can go and learn how to read a map if you haven't. But yet you plugged in at something doing some NPC-like activity that have no purpose. And the government so fucked up. A lot of people that work these jobs, they don't need you to work these jobs. They got a lot of technology and robot from DARPA and all that to fuel all these roles where everything will be afforded to you how it should be. It's crazy. We come to earth. God give you everything. And they take all the seeds and put them in their grocery stores after they GMO and pesticides and spray it with that glossy shit. And you got to pay for poison. You can't even at least pay for you go to Whole Foods. I hope you know you ain't getting the Whole Foods. That don't mean nothing. It's like you paying for poison involuntarily. Unless you got the money and the means, you got your own land. You could discern and decipher and test to see if your seeds GMO itself. And a lot of people ain't got that luxury at all. But um, again, it's crazy. It's just this much mysteries to life. You ever play a single player story mode video game? And then you go and find a little glitches being like, what's a glitch? Like Mandela effect like activity which happened in real life as well it's just like one big ass video game and then we on the we in the confines of the space as well as thinking ideologically ideologically and it's we never go and explore the outskirts do for parameters being set uh what what have you 
But it's crazy life got this much mysteries and we in this little bitty ass space still arguing if earth is round or flat. You be in the government, get to come and you find something, they get to come and shut your mouth, put some duct tape on your head. Get man in black to, to hit you with the tranquilizer, get rid of you. Anybody that made inventions that would take billions of dollars out their pocket end up missing. Whether it's the Stanley Myers or even the Aaron Salters from the New York Buffalo shooting or even the African guy he tried to kill, but he went back to Africa. It's like it's everything is so controlled by the same hidden hand. I'm sick of these motherfuckers. God, whatever it to be, for you to only the square the shit and make the shit fair, we got to really be the X-Men. How they show you in the cartoons, we got to go online and unlock this doormat junk DNA. Because who going to kick their ass? Somebody got to do it. These bullets ain't going to do it. I ain't waiting on Gilga Mitchell to attack on Titans, attack all Titans. I ain't waiting on that. They forcing people to get jabs. It's people that got that and died. And they, they got real... They got real, what's the word for it? God damn. They got, just know, they got things set up for potentious zombie apocalypse. They poisoning their body. They <sighs> predictive programming through coercion to get everyone acclimated to the soon and be new norm. We in some shit, y'all. Just not. <laughs> <laughs> we in some shit involuntarily. It's like you born, they just throw your ass in a volcano, and then you just gotta come out that bitch like Superman somehow. Shit crazy, bro. Let's continue. Had their own theories. Maybe the hole was sitting on a ley line and there was a portal to another dimension. Or it was a portal through time. And that's why everything thrown into it disappeared. Maybe somewhere in an alternate reality, there's a big pile of garbage, old appliances and dead animals just piling up who knows one caller thought this could be a tunnel to the hollow earth Ooh, like a subway for lizard people something like that there were a lot of theories and since mel couldn't access his property anymore he talked to other locals trying to get more information an elderly neighbor said that many years ago there was a series of stone columns around the hole like stone inch right but without the cross beams bro we all should link as a collective we all should go to skinwalker ranch Hopefully we don't see Slender Man, cause that's that's crazy, and we need to go to the Grand Canyon. We need to we need to go there too. Who the fuck? It's some entities that don't have a biological identification to the planet. To tell a grown ass free willed adult where they can go and explore. Who the fuck is you, Caillou? That shit burns me, bro. That shit is crazy, and they've been doing this for so long. My grandma and them just went for this shit. They ain't had no say so or nothing. They ain't even have the information we have now. They wasn't even in this paradigm. They ain't make it. So it's like, man, I'd be damned if I go through the same shit. They want to just, you just letting somebody spit on you and tell you it's raining and just do anything they want to do to you. You never really own nothing. You don't own your car. You got to go to them to get the gas. You got to pay the insurance for liability for an accident. You got to. Keep up your property taxes, other way. Man, they got you focused on stupid shit, bro. And no, just know it's extraterrestrials that live behind the ice walls of Antarctica and in other places as well, the ocean as well. Just know they not working no job. They own a purpose. They trying to advance themselves, whether it's what neural pathways or amplified, whatever. Just know they're not at a senseless, useless, purposeless job. They're literally hurts you and have your bones and ligaments and tendons hurting and it's bad for the environment as well whether you're dealing with plastics or whatever things you're dealing with they just got you doing bad it's crazy these people y'all need to get to a place of waking up where you just fuck the government we don't need you if you try to be the government we're going to put you in a brazen bull we all just need to come to know a snake it ain't no government it don't exist it, we don't need a government we don't need the artificial intelligent government as well. We don't need a government. You have laws of the universe that govern you involuntarily, whether you like it or not. I don't know why would it be involuntarily to you because it's nothing but positive and righteous, but whether you want it or not, they're here. Um, It's crazy. Which are called lentils. Lentils? Lentils. What'd I say? 
Someone from the audience reminded Mel that calling into the show is a big mistake because obviously the government is listening. So the show ends and Mel agrees to come back for an update. On the day Mel is scheduled to reappear. All government, just know you're we're gonna get rid of you someday. I promise you, you will not be here forever. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be at the end. If it ever was a beginning or an end, it's gonna be an end of you. You weren't always here, wasn't always a government. You're gonna go. You have to go. He's a no-show and not picking up his phone. So everything is gone. Maybe my audience is not aware, but a television crew uh, went up to Ellensburg after we did the last program. Mm -hmm. and uh, researched this and I'll be doggone they didn't find the hole but they did find uh, near the area where you were talking about a lot of military boot oh, prints oh, and yeah. all kinds of uh, information that would indicate the military in fact had been there or was there oh they would have probably seen a lot of yellow gear tread marks in the, um, yep. on the ground yep, uh, yep 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 it would be three years before Mel resurfaces he said he was offered $3 million a year to lease his property to somebody. But the deal was, sign a non-disclosure agreement, leave the country immediately, and never come back. So Mel takes the deal, and he lives in Australia for two years. But he's missing his family and decides to come back to the States for a visit. Not smart. It wasn't. Mel was warned not to do this, but he does it anyway. And during this time, he gets in touch with Art Bell and agrees to come on the radio but he never shows up. Mel said on the day he was supposed to come on, he was on a bus to visit his nephew. And on the bus, there was some kind of altercation and the police were called. All the passengers are questioned and put on a different bus. Then Mel blacks out. How does it make you feel when you got somebody out that's putting their life on the line, their money, their family, livelihood, all that? To try to come tell you something and the government do what it do and everybody still driving their buses into the sunset. Sitting down on the bus with swamp ass doing something purposeless. You have a whole life. Your body got this. The planet is what? 15.5 billion years old. Your vessel have that knowledge and storage in it as well. They tinker with your genetics a little bit. They put the hopes on you. They shorten your life expectancy they did a bunch of shit but yeah you your purpose can be something amazing and yeah it's reduced to driving off you know how you see a bus you could have sworn it's spot there you turn your back it's gone you don't know where the fuck it went it's like you wasting your life it's crazy bro and yeah every time somebody try to invent or come to the with some truth to make things better it's always a gay weird coward government official type motherfucker bro I don't like them niggas, bro. If I unlock my powers, bro, I'm not consulting with the Pope, Green Pope, Black Pope, Gray Pope, none of that. Not Vladimir either. Prashu Prashimia. We must break him. I fuck with Vladimir. But I ain't consulting with shit. Not the God you believe in. You feel. You try to indoctrinate me with religion. I'm not religious. I affirm things to thyself. I don't pray then pray on the on kids. How the fuck you gonna pray and then pray on kids? That's crazy. You using the same word, but it's supposed to have a different energetic signature attached to that word nah you miss me with that shit but um i don't like my powers i'm getting rid of them in the worst way because there ain't gonna be nothing you can do with me then what you gonna ban me from youtube i'm not gonna need it people gonna throw money at me i'm gonna say fuck money i ain't gonna need it at that point if i can materialize and dematerialize as thy woke can nobody just come grab me and put me in prison and impose and force they will on me Man, you better hope that shit with these people disclosing that it is credible sources of soliciting information. You better hope me unlocking my powers ain't real because I'm getting rid of y'all in the worst kind of way. It ain't going to just be no bullet through the head. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to do you bad. How you want to get through that firmament so bad? I'm going to grab you by your t-shirt like Black Adam and throw you through the firmament. And you can go up there and swim with them sharks and fishies that's above the firmament. Whatever the fuck is above it. Cause I'm sick of y'all. Y'all is evil. Y'all demonic. Y'all weak and y'all cowards and y'all prey on people as a group with y'all intelligence and cohort and y'all all in a collective and shit. And then you just 
I'm sick of you motherfuckers. Y'all do it with any and everything with four syllables. Y'all must go. All government must go. We don't need no grown ass motherfuckers that put on their pants like us to govern our mental. What the fuck? I hate these niggas, bro. I don't even. I don't even must to use this word. I used. I don't even must be saying the N word. What? I was doing good. I ain't even say that word today. But I can't stand these people, man. Shit frustrating when you know what I know and there's so many multi-syllabic layers and intricacies of what they are doing, how they are attacking us on a daily basis. And <sighs> down to the FDA approving it, that poison call and they calling it food. And your mama had open heart surgery and died. Your baby was born from cancer with cancer. Just know the fingers to point at them. They the reason for this. They know what's going on. They doing all this by design. And the next thing he remembers is that he's in San Francisco and 12 days have passed. Mel woke up in an alley. His wallet and keys were missing. Excuse the hate word. I don't hate anybody. My heart light is a feather, but it'd be frustrating trying to convey. It'd be unutterable for it exists as an entity and lanes which transcends all material words or symbols. I just be disgusted and appalled, but now I don't hate nothing. And I need to stop using the N word because it's just better to clean things up and be more polished. So... My bad for that. I was doing good today. Damn. I don't know how to edit, so I can't edit it out. It is what it is. Missing. He realizes his arm hurts. He rolls up his sleeve, and there are needle holes and tape marks from an IV. And as he becomes more lucid, he tastes blood in his mouth. His back teeth are missing. Whoa. Mel never makes it back to the property. There was legal action taken against him for illegal construction. Power lines, septic tanks, paved roads. Of course, he didn't build these. The government had occupied the property for two years. Still, Mel lost everything. There's no it's a reason for that. If that's true, I don't see why wouldn't it be true. They took his back teeth. Your teeth is directly connected to your brain. It's a most just a reason why they be so geeking. They be geeking like these. They when they they want to take your, your wisdom teeth out. It's a reason why they call it that as well. But they took his back teeth out. Some it's something that they know in the CIA and the intelligence that they know it's a reason for that. I don't know what the fuck it may be, but it's a reason for that. They took his back. What the fuck? <sighs> this shit is crazy, bro. And they've been doing this shit for so long. And how the fuck they ain't losing when ain't get rid of them yet? Or is it supposed to happen in the age of Aquarius? I can't wait till they go. You, you're not hiding in no underground bu bunky, Zucky. You're not. Anybody that's trying to hide in an underground bunker and you know what was going on, you just as guilty if you turn the other cheek and you ain't speak out and say nothing and people being mass genocided without even knowing. And a day or two after calling into Art's show, his bank account was emptied. Now, to be fair, plenty of people are calling in saying that this is all a hoax, but Art Bell is the master. Hoax or not, it's a great story, so he lets Mel continue. But Art does say that a TV crew was in the area looking for the hole. They didn't find it, but they did find evidence of a lot of military activity, and the no-fly zone has been mysteriously expanded to cover the area. In fact, Terra server, which was a mapping site before Google Earth. That don't sound crazy. I hate to keep pausing. You heard what they did to Kanye when he came out. He had a net worth of something. You remember it? Then they completely tranquilized his numbers. They control it like that. It's like you got to be, you got to have a foot in front of the other. But it can't be the obvious. It can't be you got a girlfriend and everybody know about it. And you just got all your money or whatever in her bank account or in stocks or in walls like Pablo Escobar or some shit. You got to, man, you got to. This shit crazy, bro. Just go and watch The Matrix. That's how you need to move. You need an old ass phone. You need to have your money somewhere else. Well, if they if they wipe your shit, it ain't gonna matter. You got it somewhere else. Uh, what somebody that they don't even know about because they're gonna go to your immediate family, your grandma, your mama, whoever alive, your girlfriend, or your brothers, sisters, auntie, uncle, like. But they a group of evil motherfuckers that's imposing a will on everybody. So they got all the intelligence. They got Project Looking Glass. They got, they probably got the Covenant of the Art. They probably got the formula to immortality being a Philosopher's Stone of what Book of Aquarius. Shit in the ocean, shit behind, 
Ice Wars in Antarctica, what the planet really look like, what stew this motherfucker, if it's, just know they got all the intelligence and they all working in unison to achieve they end the goal. If I was evil, and I know, okay, evil people fear what, like karmic retribution. If I was evil, if I was evil, my goal would it be to reduce the population so I can control the few that is here. So I can completely neutralize them at that point if they try to step outside their parameters. And it will be to be immortal. Well, I can, if they can clone me, which they can, they can clone a body as well. They just take what, an increment of you and it'll be one stem cell. And then that, they have turned it into a whole bunch of stem cells and eventually it'll grow your whole a complete clone of you. And conscious transferal, just like what they specified on in these books in the halls of Amenti. How you put his body in a chamber that get this one back young and youthful and strong. And then he'd dive into a whole nother one. Being a clone of this. So it's like, if I was evil, that'd be my goal. Because at that point, I would want to be com the complete God. Well, I'm completely in control. I'm never going to die. Um, and to have everybody controlled. Just look at it from their perspective. That's what they trying to do. That's really what it is. I can't stand a motherfucking bully, though. And these people ain't got a fighting chance to heal. You forced English on them. They spew words and don't even know what the real meaning of it. That they have an energetic signature attached to their word and the emotion behind it. And that English is literally, it was used for sorcery and witchcraft and to manifest things and amplify it. And people placebo on themselves consciously as well as subconsciously and manifesting fucked up realities they don't want. And then you put the hopes on them with religion. So they're not going to ascend and go to a higher playing field. They're probably going to reincarnate through the moon. You got them with a life and a afterlife and a life after afterlife. That's fucked up to be stuck in that kind of rat race. You want a rat race on earth. And then when you die, you want another rat race. You just going. This shit is sick. I can't stand a bully being them imposing a will on everybody. They control your life and your afterlife. And you may not believe it. It can be simply that you die not believing in thyself how you're supposed to. So therefore, you will reincarnate with no recollection of your past life. It's not just the end of all biological function and you did. And it's that feeling you feel, which is no feeling because you ain't conscious of a programming. But they've been bullies for this long. How the fuck have they been getting away with this so long? These people must go by any means necessary. Planetary devastation. Water shark bomb something. Fire style fireball juice. We need to get rid of them. And that should be pissing me off sometimes when I know what I know. And then it's like, don't nobody else or you won't get a collective of people or a lar large number enough to get this shit changed. And then how you so weak and brittle as a vessel you in. Or at least it feels that way or it's been that way for a long time until you unlock your doormat DNA. It's like you, you jump off a building, you're dead. You jump off a high enough. You feel me? It's like. You know all you know. You got a strong will and passion and fire inside you to fix this shit. But God, whatever it to be, forsaking you with this weak ass vessel. And it's like you too tough for your own good and your body will give out on you. Somebody cut your arm and ankle off your wheel. You still want to get up, but it won't let you. And then we fight in against these people. They got all these intelligence and information and artifacts and they all working together. And they know about all this and they using it against us. And we don't even know the half of it. We don't even know a piece of it. Like, that's not a fair battle. How the fuck is we going to correct this? Because your God and Jesus ain't coming back how you think. The only way to square that is if that's somehow miraculously real or people really is X-Men and their DNA is completely going online and they supposed to square it. It's only one of the two. This one don't make sense at all. That one ain't it. That can't be it. Even though this one sounds far-fetched due to the confined space of thinking we've been subjected to. But... These people must go, bro. I don't be having no words to express how bad I want them gone as a collective. It don't even exist. There's no words to express it. Earth showed that the whole area was blacked out, and this was confirmed. Skeptical callers said that Mel could have found the blacked out part of the map and pretended his property was there. The problem with that is Terra server launched six months after Mel made the first phone call. He couldn't have known. Soon we learned that a Native American tribe had contacted Mel 
and asked him if he wanted to come to Nevada and help them research. Research what? Another bottomless hole. Ah. Harbor Freight knows skill is important because on any given day, we're all mechanics. They took you to it. They took me there. I was. If, if they diagnosed you with something and the illness is terminal, I suggest you go and find that hole and jump through it. You might get another chance at life. Just know whatever exists, if it's an ultimate source and God and creator, which I know to exist as well, that's above the Inkies and Enlils and the extraterrestrials that have been here for eons of years. Their life expectancy is crazy. Ours pale and compared nowhere by the stretch of imagination close to theirs. It's people that live eons of years. If you know what's an eon, it's crazy, but it's still an ultimate guy and creator and source above this. And it's like life got ley, ley lines and points and entry pathways to just know whatever exists. It's a way to get there. We got all kind of cheat codes here on earth. You just got to find them and exploit them, I guess. But everything that exists, it's a way to get to it. You can go through a dimension and it's nothing but attack on Titan like figures over there. That's a hundred foot tall and Godzilla's and because you can't create nothing that doesn't exist. Dragons really existed. Dinosaurs, everything. Even the, the little midget leprechauns with the gold at the end of the rainbow. All kind of shit exists. Fairies. Luciferians. It's crazy. Again, all these mysteries about life and you at a job, which is defined again. As a public business for private dishonest gain. One more time. It's some sniggling, giggling, unnatural gay entity that's privately eating private parts gaining it dishonestly off your hard work and labor. Being them drinking blood from uncircumcised baby dick. You hear the stories is real. All the baby bones is buried underneath the churches. You're paying taxes and bills to the pedophiles that have no biological identification to the planet. That's taking your kids every 30 to 40 seconds. That's indoctrinating them with this warlord's curriculum at school founded by John D. Rockefeller. He said he want a nation of obedient slave workers, not creative, innovative, free thinkers. You being jabbed by them, the shot, they got new fucking diseases that's finna come out to kill you and your kind. Like, you paying for poison food. You think you're going to Whole Foods. Again, you're not getting the Whole Foods. You ain't getting how it really was naturally. They done fucked it up. They probably didn't do a sorcery and narcomancy like type activity over your food. They demonic. Let's continue. I was not, I did not go all the way up to the hole, but there was conversations between uh, uh, the Native Americans and the Basque and the blah, blah, blah. And they basically, uh, uh, agreed that you know everything was as it should be that I wasn't you know from CNN or the FBI or the CIA or right, whatever right, right. Uh, and so I went there and uh, uh, I got to see the hole now All right. what's there the second hole wasn't located on the Indian reservation where they lived it was actually on public land that was used by Basques the Basque are an ethnic group that comes from a small region between France and Spain. The Basques settled a couple of areas in the United States, including Nevada, in the mid-1800s, and they were using this land to herd sheep. They told Mel that the hole was there for as long as their people were, so at least 200 years, and they consider the hole and the land around it sacred. This hole was just over nine feet wide, just like Mel's. But where Mel's hole had a stone retaining wall of a few feet, the second hole had a metal collar, and metal lining down as far as the eye can see. And this hole was warm to the touch. You could feel heat all around it. And the metal wouldn't make any sound or vibrate at all. Mel accidentally dropped a tool on the metal collar and the impact was completely silent. So Mel and the Basque begin their experiments. The first test was they lowered a bucket of ice down into the hole about a thousand feet and they kept some ice at the surface as a control. When the surface ice was melted, they brought the bucket back up. That ice didn't melt at all. And even stranger, the ice was no longer cold to the touch, and it wasn't wet. The ice felt like large pieces of salt, so they tried to melt the ice over an open flame. It didn't melt, did it? Nope. It caught fire. Uh. Not only that, it continued to burn for months, so they continued sending different amounts of ice down the hole. About two-thirds of the time, it melted normally. 
but one third of the time it was transformed. Now at this point, one of the braver Basque volunteered to go down the hole himself. What? Is he nuts? Yeah, everyone agrees that that's not a good idea. So they decided to send down a sheep. A sheep? Ooh, what happened to the sheep? Oh no! That fish funny. Heckle fish. What happened to well, the sheep? I just felt I was in a, the, the presence of something extraordinary, something beyond extraordinary, something like in that category of having a religious thing. There, This was just such a stunning thing to witness. The sheep did not want to go in the hole. The closer it got, the more it tried to kick its way out of its crate. They lowered the crate down the hole to 1,000 feet. At that point, it stopped moving, and they felt a humming sensation. They left the sheep down there for 30 minutes and then brought it back up. There was no movement. The crate was unchanged and the sheep looked fine, but it was dead. The Basque, being shepherds, knew how to butcher a sheep, so they brought it to a table for a quick autopsy. Oh, for crying out loud, what are they doing? The first thing that they noticed is that the sheep looked like it was cooked from the inside. And taking up almost the entire cavity of the sheep's body was what Mel described as a giant tumor. Ugh. Then the tumor starts moving. What in the is going on with this? It's Dory. Oh! Yeah, I'm sorry, this is intense. Then, they cut the tumor open. No! Oh. Inside the tumor is what Mel describes as a fetal seal. Wait, 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 did you just say a fetal seal? Yeah, like a baby seal. It was attached to the tumor by an umbilical cord, but this seal-like creature had the eyes of a human. They watched the creature for a while as it crawled to the end of the table, and Mel felt like it wanted to get back to the hole, so he picked it up and set it near the edge. Of course, the creature was slimy, and Mel said that the fluid had the smell of ozone. So the men studied the creature, and it seemed to study the men for about two hours. Then the seal creature gave them a final look and jumped in the hole. Now, before Mel went to Nevada, he was diagnosed with advanced esophageal cancer. He had only six months to live. But after this experience, Mel was cancer-free. He thinks he was cured by the magic seal. Yep. Mel felt like he had a transcendent experience. He was completely changed after this. And just then, the radio show runs out of time. No! Still oh, shit. You wish. I... Across from me over here is the actual roadway into Mel's Hole. Don't go up that road. Up there a ways is a fence. Fuck that sign. We on Mother Earth, Mother Gaia. I have a biological identification to the planet. I ain't a newest species here. I'm walking Earth. I can go over here, bitch. How you trust but you walking on, on, on the ground? God ain't say that. A man that put on his pants like you said that. Bitch, I'm throwing that poster in that hole with you if you over there. You can't tell me what to do. That road. Out there a ways is a fence. But uh, you get across that fence, you're in a deep bunch of trouble. It might be that you simply disappear, period. A few months later, Mel returned to coast to coast. Something crazy happened with that bucket of ice. Remember one of the Basque took the burning ice to his cabin to keep warm? He had it in a stove. It burned for months, and it was pulling all the moisture out of the air. The air in the cabin was always dry. The owner's skin was always dry. He was constantly thirsty. When boiling water, the steam would be pulled into the stove. One day, the stove crashed through the floor and into the ground under the cabin. But it was still warm, so he patched up the floor and used the hole for warmth. A couple of weeks later, he's returning home and his entire cabin has collapsed and turned to dust. He moves in with his brother for a while. A month later, he comes back to the cabin and sees that the stove is now five feet underground and the hole made by the stove was perfectly smooth. It was making a new baby bottomless hole. It was, and they couldn't get the stove back up. It took a giant crane to finally get the stove out of the hole. And at this point, the Basque said they were sometimes visited by the entity that they discovered in the hole. The magic seal? Yes, the magic seal. They felt it was a benevolent presence and considered the whole experience to be very spiritual. There are now brightly colored birds circling the hole. Birds that seem to be 
immune to bullets. That's how they respond to a spiritual experience. Oh yeah, we gotta go over there. We going over there right now. Who's trying to go? We gotta go over there. What? You mean to tell me this kind of shit exists here on Earth? And you stuck at a job? Once more, defined as a public business for private dishonest gain. It ain't finna be no motherfucker in private eating private parts gain that is honestly off my hard work and labor and no siree bob. Nah. It's crazy. I wanna unfurl the cylinder scrolls. I wanna DSC scrolls. I wanna go to Bermuda. I wanna go to Antarctica. You can't tell me what I can do, motherfucker. I can't wait to unlock the rest of my, my junk DNA. It's not junk. They call it that. Thought I was gonna look over it. No, it made me look into it. My skin been crystallizing since two winter solstice ago. You better hope it ain't real because I'm doing what I want to do. And I'm righteous because it's the choice I chose myself, not because of being spending eternity, being God's right hand man, fake ass fictitious character you praying to, or the threat being spending eternity in hell. I've been through hell. Shut the hell up. I agree with Eminem said. I ain't bro. Life got everything to offer, yet you doing something stupid. And you don't even know it. Your mind ain't even yours. Your subconscious ain't yours either. Your soul and spirit ain't yours. You're reincarnating with no recollection of your past life just to give it up the white magical sky god man again. If he ain't helping the innocent virgins, kids that's getting took in every 30 to 40 seconds and being cooked, flayed, boy, you, you seen the Quentin Tarantino movie Hostel? All that kind of activity really goes on here on life. I just keep saying on life, on earth. He ain't helping them or saving them. So what makes you think that's coming? It ain't. You got to take it into your own hands. But that's crazy. I want to go there. It's birds that's bulletproof. I wonder what I can do when all my DNA is unlocked. 100% on one. But 99.9%. Because .9 10 don't really exist, right? Shoot the birds. I guess. Freaking Basque. The Basque That's even crazy. believe the magic seal is communicating with them over the radio using a system of beeps and clicks as language which they can understand. The creature warns the Basque that the ice is dangerous and can't fall into the wrong hands and would lead to the destruction of the planet. Art asks if there is a recording of this language. There is. The Basque recorded everything. For the next hour, a few more theories are considered and Art finally gets- So he put the bucket of ice down a hole and the ice come up. Now the ice got some magical power and the ice can't land in the hands of the wrong man. Otherwise it can be a... Because he said he had it in some a stove, a refrigerator. Did he say stove and the stove as if it was digging a, another magical hole? What the fuck is up with that? And why ice? If he used fire and put it in the bucket, come, would the fire come up green fire? Like, what the fuck? What is going on now? I want to see about this shit. I'm not finna be at a job. Again, the fourth time or fifth. Defined as a public business for private dishonest gain. You doing this all day. You seen them jobs where people bought it out and they doing this all day. And then they go to lunch break and they come back and... Just know they spitting on you. They spitting on you and your food at that point. You got all this data in your vessel that they blocked from you, rather getting you vaccinated when you was a kid, a baby, and didn't know how to get your shot records before you can go to school or what have you. And you reduced to having a pretentious, amazing, amazing purpose to doing something purposeless. On purpose. They doing it on purpose. I believe in the alpha of both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. They doing it on purpose, man. It's Mel to agree to come back on the show, but this time, he would bring the recording, photos, video, and everything he can get his hands on. Mel agrees to go back to Nevada and gather all the evidence. He hangs up, and the show ends. Mel is never heard from again. He doesn't respond to Art's calls, and eventually the line is disconnected. So after five years, the story of Mel's hole finally comes to an end. But it left so many questions. There are a lot of Art Bell highlights, and Mel's hole is right near the top. So how much of the story can we confirm? First, the location of the hole. Terra Server did black out that part of Washington, but on Google Earth, it showed back up. But if the military really had taken over the property, they would have covered up the hole. 
people have been searching for it for years. And of the many locations I found, there was one that was really compelling. This is the Google map. Someone actually went to the location to see what was there. These are the pictures. During one of his phone calls, Mel said there were two old buildings on the property, and one of them eventually collapsed under snow. This fits the description pretty well. And also on the property is this. Yep, a hole about nine feet wide with a stone retaining wall, exactly how Mel described. Now this caused quite a stir online, but the hole turned out to be an old well and definitely had a bottom. If you search the internet, you'll find a lot of people claiming they found Mel's hole. They haven't. It's never been found. At least, not yet. As for Mel, he's a complicated character. There's no record of a Mel or Melvin Waters living in the area, but some have claimed he was using a pseudonym to protect his identity. That makes sense. Now, something that really hurts the credibility of the story is the lack of pictures. In every call, Art asks for photographs, but sometimes Mel just doesn't think to take a picture. He forgets, which is ridiculous. Another time, he says cameras don't work near the hole because of interference. Or he does have pictures and recordings, but they're not handy, so he'll send them when he can. But in Mel's defense, he never plugs anything. Even if this is a hoax, he could have made a fortune selling t-shirts, books, phony photographs, anything. People would buy that stuff just because it's cool. I would buy a Mel's Hole t-shirt. I went to Mel's Hole, and all I got was this magic seal fetus. Yeah, that part of the story was pretty wild. And that's a common argument, that Mel's story got crazier and crazier, and eventually he just couldn't keep up with it, so he bailed on the hoax. But he was pretty consistent with the facts over five years. And Art Bell tried many, many times to trip him up, but he couldn't do it. Now, the hole itself just isn't geologically possible. A hole many miles deep would be unstable and collapse in on itself. Unless it was a bottomless hole to another dimension. Right, unless it's that. But I don't think we'll ever know. Mel's hole has many beliefs. Yeah, that makes sense too. That's why I figured like, no, that's not no entry point to no hollow earth and this reptilians down there. Nah, that may, you know how the biofield look like the flower of life. And then it's like, it's a circle that emanates around you. You can't see it because you can't see more than 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum. But it got like this little tornado type field looking thing in the middle. That's like got a bottom and a top as well. Ain't this how wormholes work as well? As above, so below. So, it definitely ain't no, like, you finna fall all the way down and finally hit the hollow earth. Like, nah, there's definitely some kind of 